the following chemical energetics questions are related to bond energies and the question has uh, uh, given some of the bond energy values are listed below so uh, different bonds and their bond energy values are provided and you're given that these bond energy values relate to the following four reactions so there are four reactions given p q r n s and he's asking what is the order of the enthalpy change of these of these reactions from most negative to most positive now uh, so uh, most negative to most positive so we're going to list the most negative uh, reaction first the most exothermic and then we are going to move to the most endothermic reaction so so we need to find the enthalpy change values for all four reactions so starting with the p if you look at this reaction a br2 molecule is breaking down into two br atoms so what you're doing in this reaction is that you're you are breaking two br bonds that's the only thing that's happening in this reaction so the energy needed to break this br br bond is provided it's 193 and it's going to be plus 193 kilojoules per mole because breaking bond requires energy so this uh, is going to be endothermic let's look at uh, reaction q now in reaction q you have two cl atoms and they combine to form a molecule of cl2 so in this reaction you're forming instead of breaking you are now forming a cl cl bond so there's only one cl cl bond that's being formed and the cl cl bond energy is given as 244 but this time it's going to be minus 244 because bond formation is exothermic it it always releases energy so so instead of positive now it's negative because you're forming bonds so i found the uh, energy values for the first two reactions now moving to reaction r if you look carefully in this reaction you will notice that ch3 is being added to, uh, a cl is, atom is being added to ch3 and it's forming ch3 cl so that basically means that this carbon over here is making an extra bond with the, with the cl so the only thing that's happening is you're forming you're forming a c cl bond and if this is clear i've uh, drawn a, a displayed formula of the reactants and the product ch3 is carbon bonded to three hydrogens and it there's a cl atom coming over here and it then bonds with the, that particular carbon atom to form ch3 cl so the only thing that's happening is the formation of a ccl bond so you're forming a ccl bond and the ccl bond energy is given as 340 but this is going to be minus 340 because you're forming a bond so it's going to be exothermic and now let's look at reaction 4 uh, CH4 is breaking down and it's producing CH3 and H so basically what's happening is that one of the bonds between carbon and hydrogen that's being broken so so in this case you're breaking you're breaking a carbon hydrogen bond and if you break a carbon hydrogen bond the bond energy for carbon hydrogen is given as 410 and it's going to be it's going to be plus 410 because you're breaking that bond so that would require energy so now what i have i have the enthalpy uh, enthalpy changes of all the reactions and now i'm going to start off with the most exothermic the most exothermic uh, one is going to be this one over here so let's call that uh, one let's number it one uh, and we move we're going to move to the most endothermic so uh, this is two this is going to be two then you this is three and this is the fourth which is the most endothermic so so it's going to be R, then it's going to be Q, then P. So it's going to be R, Q, P, and S. And there's only one option actually that's starting with R, so that's uh, going to be, so it's going to be option C is going to be the correct option. You're going to start off from the most exothermic, most negative to the most positive. So it's going to be option C. Option C is going to be the correct option for this question.